how has the offense just kind of adjusted to your offense through, half, I guess, over halfway through the spring? Yeah, we're, let's call it Notre Dame's offense, right? Uh, but uh, I think we're, we're making progress, and that's that's really the hope is that, you know, every day we get a little bit better at the specifics and the details of what we're asking these guys to do. And, and we're making progress there. It's, it's painful to watch at times when we don't see adjustments and we don't quite know yet how to fix some of the problems that a defense can present us. But uh, when we do and we make the plays, then it's pretty fun to watch. So we're in that process and it, 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 it's going to be into fall camp before that process even really I think takes root. We're trying to get it to take root. We all want it to take root as fast as humanly possible, but uh, the reality of the situation is there's a process that's got to be gone through, and we're kind of in the middle of that about halfway through spring, so I like what I've seen. I love our competitiveness, and we'll see how, how detailed we can get and how specific we can get about understanding how to do our job consistently well all the time. Then what have been your impressions of the offensive line so far, and is that picture starting to kind of clear up a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I, there's a there's a number of guys in competition there um, that I think are doing really really good work. Um, you know, Coach Golden's defensive scheme is one that throws a lot of different things at you, and just to get all those guys on the same page and get those guys working together is a work in progress. But I love their toughness. I love their approach to their work every day. Um, we get better with that unit as we go, which is great to see. So I'm excited about where it's headed. We talked to a couple of running backs a couple of weeks ago, and they talked about how they're happy that your offense includes them, you know, getting out from behind a quarterback or just being involved in the passing game as well. Can you kind of talk to that why that's an advantage for them at this stage in their career? Yeah, it's, I think it's important for our offense and them uh, at the same time. So it just adds another dimension to what you're doing, obviously, offensively. If, if you've got a threat coming out of the backfield, and we, we've got some very, very good talented players at that position in particular, and we've got to use them in every aspect of what we're doing, uh, whether that's getting them out of the backfield and letting them catch the ball or splitting them out as wide receivers or moving them around to different spots. Whatever gets our best players on the field, and there's a lot of talented players in that room. What's, what's, what makes your offense uh, so explosive? Kind of a two-part question. What makes it so explosive and successful then? You know, how do you continue to get the, the tight ends uh, and, the, and the receivers involved in this game in this game where maybe last year the receivers weren't what we expected and the tight end had a huge part in the offense? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really a, it, it's an, it's an opportunity for them as kind of to learn that we want to be an offense that is up on our toes and in people's face when we play. We, we don't want to be back on our heels and adjusting to everything that the defense, we want to dictate the style of play with how we play. And to do that, you got to be aggressive. You got to be aggressive in how you call it. And you got to be aggressive in allowing the people uh, that you're playing with to make plays and give them opportunities to make plays. So I think that's a big piece of it. And then, you know, I think development-wise, wide receiver-wise, we're, we're, we're making some really strong strides there. I like where the tight ends are going, too. We don't have a, a bunch of healthy bodies there right now, but, uh, you know, Coop in particular has picked up the slack and done a really nice job. You mentioned being aggressive with your offensive approach. How does maybe having a quarterback that can be mobile kind of play into that? I think it can help, of course, but, I mean, I think it's versatile enough. The, the style that we play is versatile enough to fit just about any quarterback. So um, regardless of who ends up winning the job, we're going to be able to be explosive and aggressive with what we do. Um, so a lot of what we do is quarterback driven. So that guy's got to be the right guy. He's got to be able to to think the game. He's got to be able to execute the game. He's got to be able to, to adjust what we're doing when need be. And uh, I think all the quarterbacks, at least thus far, have done a nice job of doing that. Coach, what's been your impression of Mitchell Evans, even though he's sideline, kind of grasping the playbook and just kind of the mental reps he's getting his first? Yeah, he's a very smart guy, and uh, he knows football. Um, I think he's anxious, uh, as we we're anxious to get him back, and he's anxious to be back. So uh, I've loved his approach to learning what we're asking, going to ask those guys to do. Um, he's going to be a big piece of the fall answers that we need uh, to be really good and consistent offensively. So I'm excited about working with him. What are you seeing from the new guys out here as far as like Chris Mitchell as a transfer receivers, 
and then the same for uh, the, uh, the healthy competitiveness from Riley Leonard and Steven Joe. Yeah, I mean, I, I think all the all the guys that are new to the program here in the last few months um, are going to help us in some way. I think we're still trying to define as many of those roles. We're only six or seven practices here into the spring, and we, we got some time to do that throughout the summer even and into fall camp. So, but the you know the early returns are very very positive and very encouraging for all the new faces that we have in the program. Let's do one more. How have Steve and Kenny adapted to new reps with Riley out, and what you, what's kind of their progression so far this spring? Yeah, I mean it's been good. I, I like both. I think they're both incredibly talented guys. I think you know they're they're both very very determined to be the guy which is awesome and and you want that type of competitiveness and i think there's a lot of learning and understanding that's still got to happen there but that's that's you know a new system and a new way of kind of doing things that they're not quite used to yet that will come along and we'll get a chance over the course of the the summertime to kind of reintroduce what we've already introduced and in fall camp reintroduce what we've reintroduced in the uh in the summer so We've got a good opportunity to really make some giant strides between now and, and when we get together in fall camp. Coach, what have you seen from the linebackers this spring, and has anyone started to kind of separate themselves there? Um, I, I just think um, overall, I think there's a collective mentality with those guys, and they're interchangeable. They're really smart. They're competitive. And, uh, you know, we ask them to do a lot of different jobs, you know, whether it's uh, early downs on or off the ball, 4-3, uh, you know, you know, being in the apex to the field, third down, some guys are rushers, some guys are linebackers. So we just ask them to do a lot, and, and those guys have responded. It's a great room. It really is. Really so much fun to be around. And then at Viper and Big End, you have experience, but also some young pieces there. I guess what's kind of that been like this spring? Yeah, again, I would say, you know, Coach Wash has done a great job of just – we're just not, we're not trying to settle in right now. We're just trying to, you know, change the groups as much as we can uh, to try to create depth. Um, and I think that's a great uh, example of it. You know, just playing a lot of different ends and a lot of different Vipers, certain guys with the ones, other guys with the twos, then changing it, you know, whatever it takes to create some depth and obviously uh, see how guys do when they do get that opportunity to go with the ones. And then with some experience at key spots back, has that allowed you to install more or go quicker this spring? No, I don't know. Again, I always install for the long haul. So it's it's really not about winning today. It's about being where you want to be, um, you know, come the opener. So, uh, again, for me, it's whatever we install, just every day, you know, quality controlling it, trying to get better at it, create the drills that support it. Um, and then, you know, carry it over into the summer and then and then ultimately into preseason camp. Well, what's it like? Year three, what's it like for you? Um, for spring, spring camp right now and how you feeling? Well, I mean, I, I, I love our staff. I, I, I think our staff has done a great job. Um, and uh, we've been just spending a lot of time together just – you know, trying to, you know, chart a course, you know, a, a team is reborn every year and, th you know, this is no exception on defense and just trying to see what are the best things that, what are our best characteristics, we're, we're, who are our leaders, um, you know, what are our strengths, uh, what are some of the things that we need to fortify, so that, that's really what we're, we're focused on, it's really not about, you know, year three, so to speak, it's just, it's year one with this group, to be honest with you, that's how, that's how it is, you know, it's just uh, seeing, what the characteristics of the 24 defense are and then trying to build around it. And to build on that, you, didn't, you don't have guys like J.D., Maris, D.J., Cal. Um, how do you, you know, channel that while you're trying to figure out the depth? How do you channel their leadership trying to find out who the leaders are? Yeah, I, I think that's part of their legacy, right, is that, you know, they, they did it every day um, for a long period of time. And, and uh, now we have the next generation. And, and it's their chance to carry the torch. So that, that's what, we're, you know, what we need, you know, whether it's X, who I think was just up here, and, and Jack, and Riley, and Howard. And, and there's so many guys that really have a chance to step up. And leadership is not limited to fourth and fifth year seniors, you know? Like, other guys can be leaders, and um, younger guys can be leaders, and, and we're starting to see that. So I think um, those are all the things that we're trying to identify here in the short term and then, uh, you know, kind of plot the course as we get into summer.
when you mentioned some big names, there you had a lot of guys decided to come back this year on the, on the defense. Just what's the outlook looking like having those that type of experience with those big names? Yeah, again, I I just look at it like I hate to keep saying it, but like last year doesn't matter much, you know. Like whatever we accomplished as the twenty three defense, you know, doesn't there's no, you know, you don't get to carry it forward, you know. And I think uh, the challenge for our group now is who are we? Uh, who are our leaders? What do we do best? Uh, and that's all of us. That's coaches. That's players. Um, do we play with the same effort and attitude? Do we disrupt the ball the same? Are we as gritty in the red zone? All those things, that's our challenge. That's our challenge as coaches. That's my challenge. And then ultimately, um, you know, we have to, you know, see what we do best and then and then build on it. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Cooper, what's uh, Coach Denbrock kind of like in the meetings and stuff like that away from the field? Um, yeah, he's, he's been great. Um, super smart. He's, um, I mean, he's taught us so much. I think all the tight ends kind of kind of really appreciate how much he's taught us in the past game, run game. It's been great. And then you carved out a rule last year. Where can you kind of expand that rule? Yeah, I mean, obviously definitely more in the run game last year, but I've been trying to expand in the past game. Learning from Denbrock has been great. Being able to get more practice reps in the past game has been great. So. And then Blake and Joe got in that you need to build chemistry with the new tackles. Yeah. I guess how do you kind of build that? Yeah, but I mean, I love both, both the tackles are great. Coming in uh, in the summer with Charles, so we already kind of had a bond there. Um, I mean, he's, he's amazing, super talented, great kid. And then Tosh, being an older guy, he's been easy just because how he's just kind of a very wise, very wise guy, uh, super smart, been able to help me a lot. I guess, um, look at the tight end room right now, even though it's got some injuries, uh, where do you see yourself fitting in as opposed to last year? Yeah. Um, it's a great question. I mean, it's it's hard. A lot of a lot of people banged up, but I mean that's hard to say. I just try to work every day. Just trying to get better every day. Um, I mean, we'll see. Just trying to we'll see in the summer. Uh, summer, so we'll see. Cooper, I guess how how do you feel physically this spring, and how beneficial was uh, the offseason conditioning program with Coach Lando? Yeah, I feel great. Um, I think coming in last coming in last or in the summer uh, off an injury kind of came in a little bit. <laughs> I guess, uh, kind of holding more weight so I've been able to slim down uh, feel faster stronger with Coach Lando has been great so I feel, feel great and just what's been the overall process coming in you adjusted to a new offense yeah um, it's challenging um, you know there's a lot a lot of signals plays everything but I think last year kind of prepared me for this a little bit more than than when I came in for summer so I mean it's, it's been challenging but I think I've done a pretty good job so and you mentioned getting better in the passing. What's kind of been like working with this QB room? Yeah, um, just kind of working with them in the summer. You know, Riley, uh, Riley. it's kind of tough with Riley, but um, great kid. I mean, they're all, love them all. So just, I think um, getting work with them in the off season was great. So I think that helped a lot. I mean, you have guys like Mitch and Kevin on the sideline taking yeah. mental reps. You know, what are they able to tell you about what yeah. they see on the field in your game as opposed to what you, you know, see them? Yeah, I mean, both of them being older guys, um, both great players, amazing players. Um, it's kind of a blessing being able to get reps and then having them in my ear, which can kind of be annoying sometimes, but uh, it's been great. Super lucky to have them. Random question, now that you have a year under your belt, how much did De La Salle kind of prepare you for college? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, a lot. Just, I mean, obviously we ran the ball a lot at De La Salle, but um, Coach Allen Ball, all my coaches there, Coach Kenyon, just kind of, like, just kind of making you a tough kid. Just being able to kind of handle whatever, whatever's thrown at you has been kind of what helped. Mitch, what have you just kind of seen? Just biggest changes for the tight end position in Denbrock's offense. Um, we got some dudes because you know we got a couple guys out. So um, I've, we, I've always kind of known our room was deep, and it's just Notre Dame. So, um, but now that we have a couple guys out, some guys have to step up, and especially today we had a lot more live situations. It was good to see some guys get out there and get loose. And then where are you at kind of with your recovery and rehab? Um, I'm about, what is it, like five months and some change. Um, but I feel good where I'm at. Um, my strength, mobility, and um, all that's pretty good for where I'm at. So I feel really good. And then just observing practice, what have you kind of seen out of the linebackers so far? <sighs> yeah, we had, like there we had a couple guys leave with the draft and all that stuff. But yeah, they're got some hard hitters in that group. They're young, but they're good. Um, they're really fast. That's so. That's the way. They're fast. They're they're quick to the coverage. Uh, they're quick to the flat. They're very they're very mobile. So 
I'm excited for that, yeah. What are the um, mental reps like for you? And is there some excitement from the sideline when you're seeing Denver Rock's offense and you're seeing it kind of coming to life? Oh yeah, it's it's exciting because we he had he can bring any element to uh, football too, you know Notre Dame and like we got a deep threat, we got a short yard threat, we got whatever we need at any situation he can bring it out of his design. Um, I mean, I'm, the tight end moves around the field, and, like everywhere we on but one to the boundary, one to the field, one motion, we're the motion guy. It's like any element we need, he can do that. And uh, just a lot today, there's a lot of big plays, so it was very exciting to see. You know, some of those young guys step up um, and, you know, see what they can do. So, Xavier, what's just been your mindset entering this spring after all that happened last fall? Yeah, I mean, I kind of just, you know, try to put uh, everything in the past. You know, that was, things happened last year and last year. So, but at the same time, still want to build on that. Uh, you know, kind of just still elevating my game, taking that next step, working on, you know, uh, a lot of different things, uh, trying to help out the young guys get ready as well. So. And then I don't think we've talked to you since you made your decision to come back. I guess what kind of went into that and what kind of sold you on coming back? Uh, so, yeah, it's just kind of just how I felt at the end of the day. Uh, you know, last season, a lot of things moved uh, pretty fast. You know, a lot of stuff happened, a lot of people in my ear. And then at the end of the day, it's kind of just how I felt, felt more comfortable coming back. Uh, you know, like I said, I just want to take the next step, really elevate my game. Xavier, after such a great season last year, the awards, the stats, all of it, in your mind, what, how do you take that next step this year? What what can you do to be even better than last year? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year, like I said, I had some good plays. I mean, some of those I was just, you know, being able to be in the right spot at the right time, uh, just reading my keys. But the next step for me is really, you know, making some more instinctual pay, plays, uh, you know, breaking off the exact route of the receivers running, uh, and get an interception off of that. So really just taking my next step of instinctual plays, plays uh, you know, be more violent on film, you know, I want to have some really big hits on film, you know, put that on film and, you know, have a even, even more dog mindset than I did from last year. You're one of a couple of guys that decided to come back to show the defense. I mean, what's that unit looking like as a whole, just having that kind of experience on yeah, I mean, it's been really great. You look say, you know, Jack coming back, Riley coming back, Howard coming back. Uh, you know, we got some good transfers, guys that are have played a lot of ball, too. So, like I said, there's a lot of experience coming back. And then at the same time, we have a lot of young guys who have a lot of very good potential. So it's going to be really exciting to see what happens. What is, what's what's going to be to take for that deep, the defense as a whole to kind of take that next step this upcoming season? Uh, I just think everybody, you know, being on the same page. I mean, communication is probably the biggest key with the uh, football, you know. Everybody communicating to one another, making sure we're all doing the right thing. And then at the end of the day, it's really just playing ball, go out there and make plays. On the other side of it, you don't have guys like Cam Hart, DJ Brown, Thomas Harper here. Mm -hmm. um, I guess how do you, you know, become the vet in that room now? Uh, yeah, that's one of the challenges, you know, I've been trying to take upon myself. Like I said, DJ has been here for six years. He's gone to camp. You know, all those guys are veteran guys. So, you know, really myself, uh, Ron Hurd coming in, you know, Jordan Clark, we all try to step up as the DB leaders, the older guys, and really take the young guys under our wing, you know, just take that next step as leaders. One more if you got. What's the most exciting part for you uh, for this upcoming season, man? Obviously, it's early on spring, but what's the most, what's the most, one thing you're looking to the most come fall? Uh, I mean, I just get another chance to play college football at the end of the day. I mean, it's just another opportunity to go out there and just play football. I mean, that's the uh, most exciting thing for me. I mean, I got guaranteed 12 games, go out there and just have as much fun as possible. We're all good? We're good. <laughs> doing good, doing good. How about yourselves? All right. It's good. Devin, what kind of went into the, the position switch? Um... What kind of went into it was uh, we had conversations at the end of the season near bowl game, you know, Coach Beelan and I. And uh, we just thought about, you know, what's coming into the future of this program, what's coming into the room, and, you know, what we needed on the defensive side as well as, you know, furthering opportunities on special teams as well, being able to be a better tackler. So I think about um, how it was kind of not easy, but also kind of like the best for me in terms of the future. Uh, we thought about, you know, this again, help translate skills to special teams, allow me to play fast, allow me to make, you know, wrap up tackles instead of just flying past somebody um, and, you know, change the game in a different way, so. And then just what's the toughest part of just learning a completely new position and a new scheme? That is the toughest part right there, learning a completely, a completely different uh, position and a new scheme. I mean, I played safety back in high school and got recruited out by Clemson back in the day, but, you know, that's been five years since then, you know, I've been playing running back ever since, so, like, coming back and, you know, I'm playing safety at the collegiate level, uh, it definitely is hard. Um, 
but you know you're in the film room every single day you're talking to the coaches and you're breaking it down and they're helping you get better every single day so you know it becomes easier but it's still like a learning curve for me for sure do you miss running back position or do you get a chance to talk to the young guys who are kind of taking advantage of that opportunity right now? Oh, I mean, I miss it, of course, but I'm like, we, we're going forward, you feel me? I'm a safety now, you feel me? We D-boys for life right now. Um, but, you know, I've talked to young dudes, and they like it, and they're enjoying it for sure. So, you know, we all chop it up in the locker room. We all have good uh, good, good auras, good uh, good energies, good vibes. So it's nothing ever bad, you know? There's a lot of experience on that defensive side of the ball. Is that going to help you get used to this new position? Yes, I mean, I'm sitting there asking young dudes what the calls were, and I'm asking older dudes how to play these coverages right, you know, when even when DJ or Cam come back. I'm asking how to play this, how to do that, um, how to line right, how to move my hands, move my hips, whatever the case may be. I'm asking dudes around me. I mean, I don't know all the answers, so obviously I'm just kind of asking questions as many as I can, and you know, hopefully I can learn like that too. One more. You did, you got, had you gotten a chance to talk to some of the guys that aren't here, uh, maybe Kyle Hamilton or anything like that? Has he spoke to you about the position or you know, what's that like? No, I haven't reached out to anyone of that to that nature or to that level yet. I mean, shoot, I'm not that much of a safety to be asking them questions, but. I mean, when I get to that point where I feel like comfortable and I can talk to, you know, I mean, the coaches and resources are already here. You got B.I.G., you got Mickens, you got Coach Golden, you got Casey, you got Bryce, you got all the people on the defensive staff to help you get there. So, obviously, even the young guys, too, they play the position. I mean, they got, they're just smart, too. So, you know, asking the guys around me, you know, uh, it's going to help me be a better player overall, for sure. But Don, uh, Coach Mickens said you've been in this room quite a bit this offseason. I guess, what are those meetings like? And I guess, how is um, just his instruction in those times? Uh, they're really good. Um, you know, he gives me tips on, like, things I want to work on, um, you know, really preparing me for the NFL. And, you know, he tells me that every day, like, if I continue to keep doing the right things and I can be where I want to go. So. And then compared to last spring at this time and now, how much comfortable are you in just the defense and college football? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really comfortable now. Uh, I used to practice. I feel like I'm getting way more uh, comfortable just practicing, playing. Uh, I feel like I'm getting 1% better every day. And, I'm just taking it into meeting rooms and on the field, so feel good. And then outside of hitting, what's something about your game that people not might not know about? I think my man coverage skills. Like I think I can, I think I can cover you know whoever you put in front of me. Um, I think I'm all around uh, safety, and I think I'm gonna show that this year. What's this? This defense has a lot of talent on it. I think the push is coming back. Just what's it kind of been like having this much talent and that time of ball? Yeah, it's cool. Like, uh, I don't have to worry about, about a lot of stuff like I did in high school. So, you know, that's that's really a plus, you know, just worry about my job and kind of just being in my spot. And then that, you know, causes me to make plays. So, just understanding that. What do you learn from guys like X who has major success last year? Yeah, just uh, I've been learning how to, like, play with the quarterback. Um, you know, he does that, like, really good. Uh, he's really good at that. So just learning how to play with the quarterback in the post and, you know, make plays on the ball that, you know, the quarterback wouldn't expect me to make. What's the excitement level for his upcoming season, or at least right now in the spring where you feel out? Yeah, uh, you know, it's really exciting. Um, you know, just kind of getting the opportunity, playing in this, in this spring uh, more than I did last year. So just really taking the opportunity, uh, you know, really well. Luke, um, going back to when you got put on scholarship, I guess, how did you find out, and what was just kind of that moment like for you? Um, yeah, Coach Freeman actually told me uh, when we were in El Paso, kind of told me, let me know the news that I was going to be on scholarship for the next semester. And so, um, yeah, that was super awesome. I was grateful for that. And then uh, when I got back from break, um, it took a few days, and then I kind of got, on, got put on scholarship. And so um, it was it was on the d down low, but uh, I didn't I liked it that way. I wasn't too worried about it. And then um, when he uh, announced it a few weeks ago, it was the first really announcement. But yeah. And then you got some snaps last year and played special teams. What did you just kind of learn about the college game, just getting those opportunities? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, playing special teams last year was huge for me. You know, just getting my feet wet, kind of just um, getting used to the speed of the game, getting used to the physicality um, on special teams. And so, yeah, I was super, super grateful to, you know, get, uh, get in the game and be a part of that. And so, um, yeah, it was awesome. And then Coach Golden likes to play three safeties at times. What can you bring to that package or just the base defense in general too? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, what I can bring, uh, let's see. I'm just hoping to, you know, bring physicality. I hope that I want, I want them to trust me, know that I'm, I know my assignment, you know. Um, I think that's really the biggest thing is just having trust in me. Um, and so that's what I'm working on, learning stuff every day and just getting better. I mean, that's a position. Your position has a lot of talent right now. Here today, what's it kind of been like to work alongside guys like Xavier and things like that? 
Yeah, yeah. X has been awesome. Adon, I mean, a bunch, bunch of guys, JC in the room. Um, they've all been great. I'm just learning from them. And then even the, the guys that are uh, looking to get drafted, T Harp, um, Cam, and uh, DJ, things like that, they all, they're all great mentors. And I've just been learning from them, trying to just gain knowledge and just get better from them. What's going to make this Notre Dame defense so special this year? You know, we're going to play fast. We're going to be physical. We're going to we're going to have a lot of different things that we're going to do, and I mean, we're just going to attack.